Yo, what's up, everybody? What's up? What's up? How y'all doing today? Man, I'm just chilling. You hear me? So, um, I'm going to talk about you know why homeless being uh, why people so homeless. Okay, I just want to do this video for a minute, y'all. You know, and I just want to do this video about type of stuff. You know, why people are homeless. Okay, and you know, reason why I'm doing videos because. You know, they got so many people looking for an answer. You know, why people living on the streets? Why people being homeless? Okay, you know, and it's so sad. Nobody don't even thought about speaking truth about why uh, all type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And you know, call yourself you follow God, and you don't even think about uh, follow the truth. You know, they got some people follow God, but they don't even think about follow the truth. You know, so I'm taking a stand, man. Just, just talk to y'all guys about, you know, what happened. Why homeless in the street? Why, why, you know, why it's happening? Why homeless being in the street? Why people being homeless? Okay, so um, first thing this, y'all, you know, why homeless? Why people are so homeless? I'm gonna say it like that. Say something else. Say to yourself. Say. JC, why people so homeless? Okay. Okay, I'm glad you asked. The reason why, you know, people so homeless because they choose to live on the streets. You know, they don't want to be paid bills. They don't want to pay rent or none of that. You know, they don't want to pay no lighter bill. You know, and also they don't want to do nothing with their life. You know what I'm saying? And reason why. People are homeless because they choose to be homeless. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not make I'm not doing videos to uh, make the fun of homeless people. I'm not doing videos to criticize them, to horn them, and bash them in a thing. I'm just speaking truth here. Okay? Why why people so homeless? They don't want to do nothing with their life. They ain't think about get a job. They ain't think about get up their butt and do something about their lives. Me personally, I beat the homeless. I used to be homeless. Let me be honest with you. Let me be honest. I not lived a lie, okay? I used to be homeless since beginning 2013 when I was in Alexandria, Louisiana. My sister kicked me out in, in, in a new year because I didn't help her pay a, a bills or something, like electric bill. Because the electric bill is high. They want like at least like four and $500. And... I said, damn, I could pay, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to get my money saved up to, to get me an apartment in Alexandria or Los Angeles. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to save my money, you know, to get me an apartment. You know, you see what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to get away from my sister house, you know, because she's an actor hall. She never stopped drinking, you know. She never let things go in the past. And I said, that's it, man. I'm not going to help her pay electric bill and i know i'm wrong you know what i'm saying because if you live you know what i mean if you live with somebody you got to help people pay bills that's the way it is you know what i'm saying everywhere you go it's not free you got to pay you know i learned my lesson now i'm grown i'm 30 years old now you know what i mean look at me i pay my rent you know but let me tell you something about me before i before i forward and say it about homeless Yes, I used to, I homeless since like beginning 2013. My sister kicked me out. I was soaking wet in the rain. My brother was there. You know, he feel bad for me. He trying to, he trying to, he, he trying to get me out of this rain, but he came because, you know, he live on uh, my sister rules. You know what I'm saying? Her rule is like, you know, you got to do what her told you to do because you live with her. You see what I'm saying? You know, so so she kicked me out, got me on some suitcase and all that stuff, and I got soaked in the rain. And I called her dad. You know, that was my stepdad, but he's not really my my stepfather. That's her dad, cause me me and Panina had <clears throat> me and Panina had the same mama and different dads. Okay, so um, and I was soaking wet. You know, I called her dad on the phone. Yeah, Panina kicked me out, cause I didn't help her pay bills. You know what I'm saying? And I look at myself. I say, Yeah, man, I'm wrong. You know, and I, I want to help her out, but she treated me like a little kid. You know what I'm saying? She pushing my buttons. 
You know, she want me to get a job. She want me to do what she wants me to do. And I'm not feeling that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to listen to people. You know, I'm not going to let people tell me what they want me to be. Nah, man. I don't roll like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't roll like that. I don't listen to people to follow their purpose, man. It's starting to make me think I'm them slaves. No, man. So I got kicked out, you know. Thank God I got the money. I, I'm lucky, so I got money. So I just got me a room, you know, across the street, way, way over there, close by the Chinese Hall restroom where my sister used to work at, you know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, man, it's been like two, two o'clock in the morning. I got me a room, you know, trying to give me some rest, but I don't have enough rest, you know, to check out. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. So, and I, you know, and I got up. Give them back their key, you know. They give me a five dollar back, so I went out of town, went to San Antonio, Texas. You know what I'm saying? And I and I start homeless. I'm I'm being homeless, you know. I travel around the world, you know. I used to catch Greyhound bus get to San Antonio. Now back in Alexandria, and now back in San Antonio, and I and I went to Cali. You know, I start homeless, you know. But I never see myself and just sitting there and do nothing with myself. I ain't seen myself, I ain't sitting there, you know what I'm saying? I ain't seen myself just sitting there and do nothing with myself and smoking weed, drink a beer, and don't do nothing, walk around and all that stuff, man. You know, all that stuff. Nah, man. Nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that like other people do. You know why? What is it, Jay-Z? Because well, I beat the homeless. I beat out the homeless from me. Out of me, man. I beat the homeless. I fight for to uh, find me a place to lay in my head. Bam, got me a spot since 2013, not here. Emotional Hotel, downtown Sacramento. I got me a spot, you know. I got me a spot since October, you know, because I've been in the shelter. I've been in the um, gospel mission, you know, so, the too many weeks, you know. I've been in a gospel mission. I've been in VOA shelter. And also, I went to Salvation Army, you know. And, you know, that's what I'm doing, man. I do something about myself. I'm not going to sit there and be homeless the rest of my life. Don't do nothing. No, man. I got sense, man. I, I got more knowledge. My pencil sharp, man. I got more knowledge, man. The rest of these people, man. You know why? Because people don't want to do nothing with their lives, man. They don't want to get a job. They ain't do, they ain't do no education for themselves, man. You know? Now, see me, man, I said, fuck that, man. I'm going to find me a place, man. I'm going to fight for giving me a place. I don't care. I don't care what people say, man. And then people going to think what they want to think about me. Fuck that. I'm going to do something about myself, man, because I'm not going to sit there and do nothing with myself, man. I have a child, man. You know, I don't want my child to think I ain't doing nothing with myself and all that stuff, though, because her family, her family already know about, you know what I'm saying? Her family think I don't do nothing with myself. Whatever they think about me, I really don't care what they think because the devil is a liar, y'all. But in a way, you know, got me a Salvation Army, got me a spot. It's downtown. The name of the hotel is Marshall Hotel. You can stay in there as long as you want to. You got to bring your own microwaves and all that stuff, though. You go in there and, you know, and they got a mailbox you can check in and all that stuff, though. You know what I mean? So I got I got me a spot, you know, and I, I stay I, I stay over there for like for a whole month. You know, the rent is five sixty because they got showers and bathrooms, and they and they got another room. They don't have no bathrooms and showers. You got to share bathrooms and showers and all that stuff. Though I said, nah, man, I need my own stuff. I need my own bathroom and showers, and I can take a bath because I don't want to go share rooms and no no. Share bathrooms, share kitchen, all that stuff. No, man, I'm not doing that. I want my own stuff. How much the rent is. I don't care. It's going to be $600. I pay. I pay because I don't want to be in the street. You know what I'm saying? Because I got more knowledge, man. I'm not I'm not like crackhead people be and all that stuff, though, man, because they ain't doing that with their lives, man. They, they, they mess up their self mentally. You hear me? They mess up their self mentally, man. They're smoking that crystal. Crystal got them gone. You know, let demon possess them, you know, and they're not going to do anything for themselves, man. Me personally, I'm not part of that kind of stuff, man, because I got more knowledge, man. I got more knowledge, y'all. So, yeah, man, I've been homeless since 2013, 14, 15, but I'm not homeless 
but I got me a spot, you know. But I'm, I'm going to tell you what happened. You know, I left I left Cali. We went back to San Antonio because my brother need me, whatever he needs. So I went over there visiting him, you know, visit my mama. You know, my mama gave me a problem. And I bump up to my baby mama, you know, and she staying in the um, Haven for Hope shelter, you know. And, I, and, I, and, you know, I didn't even know she was out there in San Antonio. And she was looking for me. I didn't know she was looking, you know, for me. So I, I tell her, I said, love, man, said, you come to Cali with me? I said, for what? To give me a spot? I said, yeah, I want to go to Cali. So we go to Cali, help her out with for information, help her with SSI, try to be her payee, but they don't let me unless I get an apartment, you know? And I understand that. So now, bam, I got me a spot now. I can stay here as long as I want to, as long as I pay a rent on time. And out here, this is the um, this is the motel apartment, you know. This is for a homeless people. They ain't got nowhere else to uh, go. If you got a bad credit, bad record, bad felonies, you belong here. You know, this is the pole ground. Okay, you got to be in the pole ground. You got to go to like a Francis house. You got to go somewhere like a, uh, you know, go to, you know, you got to go somewhere, you know, to help people with special needs or something. So that's the reason why I got me a spot though, you know, because my baby mama, my old lady, she got her payee for SEPs, and she work on SSI. They help people with housing. So they, they got me a spot. I can stay there as long as I want to, as long as I pay the rent on time, as long as I had no company go in and out the door and all that stuff, you know, as long, long as I ain't bring no weapons, everything, you know what I'm saying? As long as you kept things to yourself, pay your rent on time, you ain't worried about paying no lecture, anything. You can stay as long as you want to, make yourself a good home, though. And I say to myself, I say, wow, man, but still, I need an apartment, man, because I used to have an apartment a long time ago. I used to have an apartment since 2006. I used, I used to have San Antonio housing, man. I, you know, I live in a project called Weekly Core Projects in 2006. You know, I stay in there about a year. And I move out of project to move to a real apartment on the east side in San Antonio. Got me an apartment, you know. And what happened is I messed myself out because my credit was bad because I owe people some money and I didn't know about it. You see what I'm saying? And that's that's a long story, man. You know, that's a long, long, long story, you know. And um, <clears throat> but I want to talk about, you know, why people so homeless. And I'm going to tell you why. Why people homeless, JC? I'm going to tell you why. Reason why people homeless because they don't want to do nothing with their lives. I already told you this. They don't want to do nothing with themselves. They ain't think about getting them a place. They ain't think about going to Social Security, you know, and apply for benefits and, and all that stuff, though. They don't want to do nothing, y'all. And I and I see why the shelters... Don't even they don't don't even bother to build a shelter. Don't even build the um shelters for homeless people. I'm I'm gonna say it. I don't want to confuse them. That and I see why people don't even bother bother to build the shelters for homeless people because they already know homeless people don't want to clean up behind themselves and all that stuff. They don't really take bath. They piss it on themselves. They boo boo on themselves and all that stuff and smoking crack. You know. They already know that. Don't get me wrong, y'all. Reason why they don't have no much shelters out here in California because because of the people, man. People get people they get into a lot of trouble. They really mess themselves up. They already know that you know what I'm saying. But they do got shelters. They got a gospel mission. They got VOA, and they got different types of uh program that people go to. You know. Most homeless people don't even thought about go there. They go there, but they choose to sleep on the street because they want to do what they want to do with themselves. And that's ridiculous, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't go in the shelter and do what they want. That's the reason why they got some rules, revelation. You got to stay in there for like seven days. You know what I'm saying? You see, shelters, that's the place to help you get back on your feet. That's what I'm doing because I've been in the shelter because they really help me get back on your feet. But... I already know shelter is not a good place to go. You know what I'm saying? You got some so many rude minded people and all that stuff though, you know, but I get used to it because I kept thinking to myself, 
I ain't bother nobody. You feel me? You know, so um let me let me let, let me tell you some something else about the, the shelter called Haven for Hope in San Antonio, Texas. Let me tell you something about Haven for Hope Shelter in San Antonio, Texas, man. They take care of all people, man. They take care of people. They feed them. They clothe them and all that stuff, though, man. But they, they, that PCY shelter, man, it was crazy, man. You can stay there as long as you want, as long as you ain't bother nobody, as long as you ain't child molesting women, as long as you ain't do everything stupid and all that stuff, though. If they cut, if they catch you doing that kind of stuff you should be doing, they put you out for seven days. They put you out for seven days. Especially if you get into a fight, they put you out. They ain't going to put you in jail. They put you out in the street for seven days. If you do everything stupid, more worse, threat people out, they put you out for good. That's right. That's how rules is in San Antonio, man. But they got some shelters, man. You know, you can sleep as long as you want. You can sleep the outside. Not an outside, like inside a gate. Or you can sleep in, inside the shelter buildings. You know what I'm saying? They, they got a cold drink machine. You, you got TV you can watch and all that stuff, though. They got tables and all this stuff for people sitting down. You can bring your laptop and everything, you know, because they, they got Wi-Fi everything, you know. And, yeah, man. Yeah, out there, man, they take care of homeless people, man. How come California not do the same thing? You know why? Money. They're not really thought about it. You know, they try to, they, they, they talk about they trying to get homeless out the street, but they lie. They talk about, oh, well, we're trying to do everything to get homeless out the street and all that stuff, but they're not really doing, they're not really doing anything. You know what I'm saying? All that dude to just be feed people left and right, and that's it. But they, but the dude got shelters, but they just keep people out at six o'clock in the morning. See, San Antonio, they wasn't like that. You know what I'm saying? Because only San only San, uh, San Antonio, Texas shelter is like they wake you up to give them uh, to give them back that um the sleeping bags the sleeping bag called a a, a a green a green map they wake you up at six o'clock in the morning return the map and that's it but they're not ready to kick you out like other shelters do you see what I'm saying and I'm just being real y'all and why why people be homeless like I say. They're not really thought about do some education for themselves. You know, they're not really think about follow God. They're not really think about follow God's truth. You know what I'm saying? They don't really think about having a deep and warm relationship with God, man. They're not really think nothing about that. All they just think about themselves. Smoking weed, smoking that crystal, messed up brain cells, man. That crystal, man, they be smoking, man, they mess up their brain cells, man. People be gone, man. And see me personally, man, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it, man, because I got I got I got a girl I got to take care of, man. You know what I'm saying? I gotta do what's right. But see other people, man, they get mad at me, man. They get mad at me because I gotta do what's right. You know? You know, I was do what's right. Take care of my responsibility. That's what I'm doing. Got me a spot. Thank God for that. Nobody never satisfied, especially her family. Man, her family be hating on me so much. You know what I'm saying? They hate me so much, you know. They they can't they can't handle the truth, you know. Talking about talk about crazy stuff, talk about be messing around with girls, talk talk about this, the genre wasn't there and all that stuff. Man, I don't wanna hear all that because you know me, I don't wanna talk about it. Yeah, like why homeless? Sleep on why are people so homeless? They don't wanna do nothing. They don't want to get a job. They don't want to, you know, they don't want to, they're not even thinking about doing nothing with themselves. That's all I'm telling you. That's the reason why people choose to sleep on the streets. Now, now they got some feel homeless out there trying to get a place. Trying to get a place, you know, but some homeless got to exercise money. You know, they trying to get a place to lay their head, but the people out here in California, they're not going to give people an apartment. What they do is, but they talk about you got to pay two times of rent, you know. And I see why majority of homeless people so struggle to get an apartment because the, because the, because the cost of living high, you know. You say you got the landlord talk about you got to pay two times of rent. 
because they do the same thing to me. I'm trying to look for a low income apartment. They give me a hard time. They say, you got to pay two times the rent. I said, what you mean I got to pay two times the rent? I only got one SSI left, $900. I said, well, you got to, well, you got to make another payment. And I just walk away because this stuff don't make no sense. You know what I mean? Come on, man. It's supposed to be housing. It's supposed to be, you know, get people out the street. You talk about you got to pay two times the rent. You know, it doesn't sound right. It got to be the deposit and the rent. They told me, they told me, well, that's not a deposit. That was the rent. All the rent is going to be $1,400. You got to make at least like $1,200 and $1,400. And I said, nah, man, it ain't right, man. It ain't right. So now I'm stuck out here, you know, and I'm still on a waiting list for housing, you know, public housing in Sacramento. And I'd be waiting for like, at least like three years. You see what I'm saying? And um, see me, I beat out the homeless. That means I fight for my life. I'm trying to survive. I'm trying to get me a place, trying to get me a food to eat, trying to get me a clothes to wear and all that stuff. Guess what? I won. I won. I, I beat out the homeless. If I don't, I want to be like them. But it's never happening. It's never happening, man. I got sense, man. God just gave me a knowledge, man. That's right, man. And y'all y'all people out there, man, don't be homeless. Don't be homeless, man. Don't do that, man. God, God don't want you to be homeless, man. God wants you to have a better life. He wants you to have a better place to lay your head. Don't let anyone stop you. Do your own thing. Do your own thing, man. Don't be don't be homeless on the street, man. Cause homeless on the street, man, ain't no good, man. Ain't no good, y'all. And see, it's so sad about this, y'all. The government they're not really thought about get homeless out the street and put them on the different types of shelters, man. Because in the street, man, it's very, very dangerous out here. People get killed left or right out here, man. They're not really thought about take care of homeless like San Antonio, Texas was, man. So sad about this, y'all. So that's all I got to be saying, man. This is boy Jonah, y'all. And I'm just put out the truth, you know, why people so homeless. I already gave you the truth. They choose to live on the streets. They choose to live in, um... They, they choose they choose not to get an apartment, to get a place, not to get a job. They choose not to follow God. They choose not to do this and do that. That's the reason why they choose to sleep on the street, because they don't want to do nothing with themselves. They don't want to be nothing, y'all. And me personally, it's never happening, man. It's never happening. That's the reason why I dress nice. I always take bath. I always put some smell good on, because I born and raised to smell good. That's right, man. And that's all I got to be saved, man. Love you guys. And I'm out, y'all. Peace.